Assalamu alaikum students. Today is Friday, 1st May 2020 and today we are going to start our new unit and uh, the name of the unit is the wooden bowl. Actually this is a story and this is basically a very old story of uh, an old man and there is some moral at the end of the story and what is that moral we will find out as we will start reading of the story all right for that one i would like you to open up your textbook textbook yes textbook page number 14 all right so here's the story and before starting this let me introduce few vocabulary and I'm sure that you are unfamiliar with these words. So I want to make you familiar with these words. So vocabulary for this unit is chisel, clumsy, complain, fetch, nod off, earned. So please repeat after me. Chisel, clumsy, complain, fetch, nod off, earned. Chisel is a tool which is used by a uh, carpenter as you can see here this boy is holding a tool and uh, it is used with the hammer and you can write down with a pointing arrow chisel clumsy clumsy means something which is very awkward complain 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 means to say something um, to say about something unhappily when you do not like and when you have issues with that fetch fetch means to bring something nod off nod off means to go to sleep earned earned means to receive some money uh, when you complete some work all right so this is the vocabulary word and now let's start reading of the story all right uh, here are a few characters of this story and uh, let's see what are these characters you see this is a boy all right and it looks like that he's working in a workshop by using hammer and chisel this is an uh, old man he's actually grandfather you see let me show you closely this is the grandfather you can write down the name of the character grandfather you see he's holding a wooden bowl and look at the expression how is he looking is he looking happy no he's not looking happy he, he's looking very sad and worried all right on the next page, there are the characters of the story. Let's uh, write their names. This is Manfred and this is Thekla. Thekla is, uh, Thekla and Manfred are, you know, they are couple. Couple is, uh, you can say that uh, when two people are married, they make a couple. And this is Wilhelm. Wilhelm is the son of this couple, Manfred and Thekla. So he, this boy is son of Manfred and Thekla. All right, so let's start reading. Uh, you have to, before starting re reading, let me uh, tell you that while reading the uh, story, your voice should be loud and you have to read fluently. Aapne atke bagair fluently read karna hai with correct pronunciation. All right, so this is the story of uh, an old uh, man and uh, this is a story about you know uh, how do we value human and human relationships because these days you know we value human and human relationships not that much in fact we value material things more than human relationship so isme hame ye pata chal pata chalega ke hum apne society mein aapas ke relationship ko hamare ghar mein jo elderly members hain unko kaise treat karte hain hamara unke sath behavior kaisa hota hai and after that hame ye sikhaya jayega ki kya hum theek hain kya hum theek sochte hain kya hamara unke sath attitude theek hota hai aur usme hame ye bhi bataya jayega that uh, how we treat elderly people at our home and how you know the children make uh, you know wise point of view uh, with uh, the whole scene aur jahan pe hamare ghar mein children hain wo jab dekhte hain ye atmosphere ye sab cheeze apne environment mein to wo isse kya lesson lete hain so the, there is a moral at the end of the story now let's find out what do we have in our story all right 
your finger your finger should be moving along with the reading all right first of all please write down unit number 3 friday and then day friday 1st may 2020 the wooden bowl once upon a time in a small town in germany there lived a man called kurt he lived with his son manfred and his daughter in law thekla as i told you that this is the son manfred and thekla she is the uh, sister uh, daughter in law and she is the wife of manfred and she is the mother of wilhelm they all shared a little house little old house at the end of a quiet street in the middle of the town manfred was a carpenter and spent all his time in workshop at next to the house he had learned carpentry from his father who had been a famous carpenter in his days kurt had taught his son well and the son earned a good living he made furniture for the people of the town and from time to time he did some carving the young couple manfred and thekla had a son called wilhelm the boy liked to sit in the workshop and watch his father as he grew older he helped his father by fetching and carrying things he learned to clean the tools and take care of them he learned how to use a saw and a hammer and a chisel and his grandfather taught him to carve wood into wonderful shapes all right so far here we have completed first second and third three paragraphs we have completed three paragraphs here and while reading this we have found that there was a uh, place uh, there was a small town in germany jahan pe wo uh, man kurt apni do son daughter in law ke sath rehta tha and wo ek carpenter tha who's a who's a carpenter who's carpenter do you know that all right carpenter is a man who makes things out of wood so carpenter carpenter is someone who makes wood <clears throat> who makes objects out of wood and carpentry carpentry is that art is it is taken as a noun here and next we have as uh, in the reading let's un- write down some of the meanings fetching fetching means bringing as we have fetch in our vocabulary here to go after and bring back something or somebody all right so yahan pe hame ab tak story mein ye pata chala hai ki ek carpenter tha aur usne apne bete ko bhi carpentry sikhayi thi and wo apne town ke furnitures banata tha for different people all right now let's move on the grandfather was very old now and getting older every day he was not very strong his eyes were dim and he couldn't and he couldn't see well sometimes his hand hands shook all right shook is the past form of shake all right shook is the pa- past form of shake shake means to move jaise uh, unintentionally and uncontrollably koi cheez shake kar diya so that is shook and sometimes he sat in the chair and nodded off nodded off means go to sleep so please write down the meaning go to sleep in the evening when they all sat down to dinner at the table manfred and thekla used to get angry with the old grandfather he was slow and clumsy clumsy all right clumsy means awkward awkward all right clumsy is also given in our words to know these are the challenging words so you can highlight or underline the meanings as well here sometimes he broke a glass sometimes he dropped a spoon and sometimes he spilled soup on his clothes spilled spilled is the past form of spill and it means to flow over the edge koi cheez gira dete hain jo liquid cheez hai for example water juice milk jab wo koi cheez girti hai to usko hum क्या कहते हैं स्पिल एंड स्पिल्ट इज द पास्ट फॉर्म इट राइट डाउन द मीनिंग प्लीज फ्लो ओवर द एज ही वॉज एन ओल्ड मैन आफ्टर ऑल वन डे ड्यूरिंग द इवनिंग मील द ओल्ड मैन ड्रॉप हिज प्लेट ऑन द फ्लोर क्रैश इट्स स्मैश्ड इन टू अ हंड्रेड टाइनी पीसेस टाइनी मीन्स स्मॉल लिटल टाइनी मीन्स स्मॉल और लिटल स्मैश्ड मीन्स ब्रोक स्मैश्ड 
broke. Tecla and Manfred began to clean up the floor, but how angry they were! After that accident, they bought him a cheap wooden bowl from the market, and he gave and gave him his dinner in that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now cheap. What do you mean by cheap? Cheap means something that is low in price. Cheap, low in price. Cheap means low in price, which is something which is of low quality and which is in a uh, low price. Just ki kimat bahut kam ho. They made the uh, they made. The old man sat by himself in the corner of the room to eat his food. All right. So far here we have uh, we have read fourteen and fifteen page number fourteen and fifteen. All right. So far. So can I ask you something? All right. Which is the place where do the which is the place where do the family live? क्या आपको पता है वो place कौन सा है जहाँ पे family रहती थी? Yes, Germany. All right. And who was Thekla? And what was he to Manfred and the old father? old uh, grandfather yes thekla was the was, thekla is the wife of manfred and she is the mother of wilhelm and she is the grand sorry she is the uh, daughter in law of the grandfather all right that's nice and can you tell me that how do they earn money wo kis kaam kaise money earn karte the kis tarah se wo money apne liye earn karte the what was their profession Yes, carp. They both were carpenters. वो क्या थे? Carpenters थे. All right. So that's how you will read the story. And after reading that, you have to circle the verbs in the story. What are the verbs? Verbs are the action words. All the doing words are the action words, and they are called verbs as well. Verbs क्या होते हैं? Verbs वो सब actions हैं. वो डूइंग वर्ड्स हैं एनी वर्ड दैट इज शोइंग सम काइंड ऑफ एक्शन इज कॉल्ड वर्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी शो दिस वन कार्ड आर राइट ईटिंग यू सी लेट मी शो यू क्लोजली दिस बॉय इज ईटिंग दिस बॉय इज राइटिंग हेयर द सम चिल्ड्रन आर प्लेइंग रीडिंग एंड देन जम्पिंग सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर वर्ड्स ऑल द डूइंग वर्ड्स are called action words or verbs the words which show some kind of action are called verbs so <clears throat> in this one story today's diary is read the story the wooden bowl and color all the verbs green textbook page number 14 to 16 you have to read page number 14 15 and 16 All right. So you have to read the uh, you have to read the complete story, and uh, by tomorrow we will discuss the moral as well, and you have to learn the vocabulary as well. आप ने इसमें vocabulary learn करना है. अब ये देखें how to uh, circle the verbs in the story. Let me tell you about that. You will take a green color, or you can uh, take any of the color, but make sure that कि जो भी color आप choose करें आपने की उसी तरह से बनानी. For example, आप यहाँ पे write करेंगे verb की यूज द ग्रीन कलर बिकॉज जहां पे भी हम की बनाएंगे इट मीन्स कि जहां पे भी ग्रीन कलर यूज हुआ है इन पेजेस पे वहां पे हमें क्या मिलेगा वर्ब फॉर एग्जांपल वंस अपॉन अ टाइम इन अ स्मॉल इन अ स्मॉल टाउन जर्मनी इन जर्मनी देयर लिव्ड अ मैन कॉल्ड कर्ट लिव्ड इज अ वर्ब सो यू विल कलर द वर्ब ग्रीन और राइट लिव्ड अगैन सो कलर दिस वर्ड ग्रीन स्पेंट All right, learned. So that's how you will find different verbs in the story. All right. So and जहाँ पे भी आपको verb नजर आएगा, आप उसको क्या कर लेंगे? You will color that word green. So that's how. इसी तरह से आप अपनी key बनाएंगे और उसी तरह से color करते चले जाएंगे. Verbs are the action words, doing words. The word that shows some kind of action is called verb. For example, ये देखें, we have find another word. All right, shared. <coughs> so that's how you will color all the verbs in the story all right so by tomorrow we will discuss the lesson because uh, you have to read the story and you will share your moral with me ke isme aapko kya moral dekhne ko mila iska <coughs> isko hum ye discuss karenge and uh, aap mujhe batayenge ke was that fair 
टू बी एंग्री विद दैट ओल्ड मैन क्या फैकला और मैनफ्रेड को उस ओल्ड मैन के साथ एंग्री होना चाहिए था क्या उनको उसके साथ अनकाइंड होना चाहिए था या नाइस एंड पोलाइट होना चाहिए था सो so, ये हम चीज़ें और अलॉन्ग विद द मोरल हम अपने नेक्स्ट लेसन में डिस्कस करेंगे यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट दिस रीड द स्टोरी एंड यू हैव टू लर्न द वोकेबलरी एज वेल सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग लुक आफ्टर योर सेल्फ स्टे होम स्टे सेफ